here we are on Lutetia 1A, which is a Paradise Moon. And turn off my base, which we will back up and show off a little bit. This is my home. Um, we're going to... I really want him to be up there. Oh, he is up there. That's good. Okay. That's a good spot for him. Uh, that is my freighter. This is my home. We're going to tour my home in photo mode. Which is probably a little dangerous. Flying in particular probably a little dangerous in photo mode. So here we are. This is my base. Four landing platforms. Uh, it's six levels high. You start out with a level on the ground here. Oh, I have a mailbox out front. That's what that is. Mailbox and um, save point. Teleporter. The only outstanding bug right now that I'm a little unhappy with is um, the. Why is the teleporter not working? Oh! The teleporter's not working because I have photo mode on. Um, these names need to change. Uh, at some point, they need to figure out how to make them relevant to these names. Because uh, some of these are. Those have been renamed. So, uh, the, f the six levels. Uh oh. And there's a bit of a bug. Let's um, fix this. Let's make sure. That'll fix it for the first couple levels. So, level two has my builder guy at it. Um, I'll explain why there's no windows here and why builder guy has to live without windows. Um, third floor has farming guy. Fourth floor has science guy. And science guy is sitting in front of the vaults. I have stuff stored in these vaults. So, vaults, and then. Fourth floor would have weapons guy, but weapons guy is not here. Weapons guy is actually up on the freighter. So fourth floor right now is just there. Fifth, uh, actually, that was fifth floor. Fourth floor would yeah okay. Correct yeah. So here we are on sixth floor. Sixth floor has a nice uh, sales place in it. So we can buy items from the Galactic Trade Network or sell items from my inventory. I don't have anything in my inventory. Um, so building guy basically helped me build all this stuff along with science guy and whatnot. Um, four platforms. There's my ship. The platforms are surrounded. Main reason why I wanted to surround them. Um, isn't it because it looks cool? Because it does kind of look cool, but these railings only show up if there's a door. And rather than just having a door by itself, I wanted to have like an actual hallway. So you can move around. And in the hallways, I have planters. I can actually collect this stuff. In fact, uh, it's probably not old enough for me to collect yet. Um, I would have every wall would be glass if I could get away with it. I can't get away with it because base complexity is a measurement, and it's by by which everything is measured, actually. And um, I guess it's not going to show you complexity. Um, I do not have enough complexity left over. Uh, in fact, these halls are the the windows in particular are are especially complex because. It's like one room, and then an addition eats up basically two slots. I thought about redesigning it, but eh, not, not right now. Um, 
some glass plants, also known as uh, cryogen, I, I think it's called, something like that. Um, you know, you can see out the windows, it's starting to get dark out. I'm going to go ahead and collect some Mordite, because Mordite is going to be the basis of my economy and where I'm going to make all my money. So all this stuff is part of my base. Go over here and collect this and this. So that's my base. All these platforms. Just, you know, my little home away from home. I think, uh, I think what I'll do is I have enough base complexity for this and I'll uh, go ahead and do this while I'm thinking of it. Oh, I didn't mean to fall that far. Let's go back up. I will let's go ahead. little bed in for myself. Let's check its color. Make sure it matches the uh, color palette of the rest of the building. Alright, so that's pretty much my base. Let's go up to the freighter. Uh, not out that door. Got her on this way. The freighter, which I can summon to any system I'm at. Kinda has a base on it. But, uh, it has storage and whatnot. Let me get in my landing bay here. Whilst I'm landing, I will show you. So that's the stuff that's on my ship that I'm flying right now. But my freighter has a ton of stuff on it too. Mainly stuff in case I come across something I need to. Uh, you know, spend money on kind of thing. Like, if I get a new ship, new ships, uh, particularly crashed ones, aren't all that healthy, so you have to put them back together. So I have all the spare parts to put, well, not all of the spare parts, but most of the spare parts to put one back together. I'm gonna cheat and jetpack up here. Uh, let's go look at the crew. Run down the hall to the bridge. There's the bridge, there's the Admiral. So you can buy, I guess rent technically, uh, buy freighters. Um, if you find another freighter, it'll be more expensive, but it'll have more space uh, on the... Not there. It'll have more space on the inventory there. Um, but, for now. This one will suit me. Once you uh, once you bought the freighter, you can uh, sneak into these rooms here. Um, I have a little. Those will eventually turn green, and I can get stuff out of them. I have a little uh, weapons guy who I'm using his uh, his spot as a bedroom. Just a couple of. Um, storage containers here, and in fact there's nothing in those storage containers right now. In fact, let me do some, uh... Oh, I can sell some stuff. That was another thing I did, uh, was I put a... These things are expensive to build, but I put one in the ship. It's kind of a reason I put one in the ship. So that, um, my other project can pay off which is the grow house. So eventually I'm going to fill this room with these um, Mordite plants. And with Mordite, you can make uh, a material 
that sells for a lot of money. Way more than the component Mordek uh, would sell for. So I'll go ahead and run through the collection here at some point. Hopefully I'll have enough complexity to fill this with some Mordite plants all the way across. Um, so then what we do with the Mordite is we get it out of our regular inventory because we don't need it in our inventory. That means I have a lot of Mordite, which is okay because we want to go ahead and build lots of lubricant. Lubricant sells for well over 35, uh, almost 40 a pop, 40 grand a pop. A single unit is, a single Mordite is only 13 uh, times what 40 it takes to build lubricant and, well, you do the math. <clears throat> lubricant is significantly, um, Significantly profits uh, profitable to build. Yeah, it's forty a pop. So. And uh, of all the things you can grow, mordite is also one of the fastest growing uh, materials. I think at one point I was gonna. You need the mordite material to. Um, Plant more like plants. But right now, we'll just uh, build a bunch of lubricant. We're at uh, 21 mil, which is a healthy amount, but my next freighter is probably gonna eat into that quite a bit. So, or if I find a ship I really, really want, which is 151, I can't afford that ship right now. But. Do a little bit of farming up here on my uh, Walter White. That's what I'm gonna call the freighter right now, or Heisenberg. That's what I'll call, I'll call the freighter Heisenberg. All of a sudden, I have closer to 22. So, yeah, you know, I still what could build another four or five. So yeah, yep. And then anything I get out of these, I can also sell. Uh, one of the things I get out of there is antimatter, which goes into warp cores that uh, fuels the hyperdrive. So that comes in handy too. So that is my freighter and my base. Now I'm going to head back down to the planet and go to the system that's farthest away from the system I'm in. I'm going to turn photo mode back off. Because, uh, that's like expert mode there. And somebody just logged in and missed the tour. Oh well. Uh, R2 to take off. <laughs> 